So, pre uh, surgery update. It has been a very long, 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 long journey. I was supposed to have surgery back in January. Then I was supposed to have surgery in April. And here it is, May. I canceled April because we was going through some stuff, some stuff. And my baby had to have surgery because she has to have something done. And so I, hers was life threatening more than mine. So I canceled the first surgery. Then this happened. bummer right i know so i got hit with don't come pre-op don't um waste your money coming our way out here because they don't think i'm gonna be approved which i thought i was already approved way back when when i first told y'all i was approved apparently the surgeon approved to do the surgery the insurance hadn't approved to pay for the surgery. So I could have went and did all of that and then I would have got a healthy check if my insurance didn't pay for it in the end because they bill insurance afterwards. So I got the scrounging and scrounging and then this happened. I found a prescription that my doctor had prescribed to me for swelling and is it high blood pressure borderline diabetic. borderline diabetic and so I sent it to her and this happened which all led to me going to my pre-op surgery Friday, May the 30th. And, huh? Thursday. Oh, yeah, today, Friday. Thursday, sorry. Y'all probably won't get this till later today. Hopefully, I can get it out to y'all. But I ended up making it to my um, pre-op appointment all the way into... Pika, shout out to my mom. She did all the driving. Awesome. I wasn't even feeling good. But I went to my pre-op appointment and I vlogged as much as I could and tried to be very transparent. So anybody that is looking to have this surgery can gather as much information as they possibly can. But surgery is a go. I am having it. I didn't post uh, my PayPal information or my um, cash app information because I was going through so much I didn't know if I was going to have the surgery and I didn't want to ask for help getting to surgery if um, there wasn't going to be a surgery like I wasn't going to take people's money that were generally genuinely um had faith in me, uh, believed in me, they thought I could do this and be successful at it. I wasn't finna take their money and there wasn't no surgery. So that's why um, I had a couple people email me and um, kind of hit me up on Instagram asking why didn't I post um, the information for them to donate. Donations are for me to get to Topeka again. Um, I'm on a very limited income, so, and I have to go from St. Louis all the way to Topeka. That's like a five-hour ride, and I'm taking my daughter, my wife, and my mom. I'll be in the hospital, but the day before I have to go, we need a hotel room, and coming back, I need to rent a van. I'm renting a car to get there, hopefully, um, and coming back, I need a van, so coming back, what would be a five-hour ride is going to turn into maybe possibly hopefully not a 10-hour ride because i would have to stop every 30 minutes to 
get out, move around so that I won't set up blood clots. My doctor is not happy about me going all the way back to Missouri. Um, because that's a long ride right after surgery. But if I follow the rules, we can do this. So if anybody would like to help me get to surgery, because I do need help. Um, this whole trip, this go round. Like when we went yesterday, it was um, a $300 trip that my mom foot the bill for, and I appreciate her for that. But of course, she's not gonna be able to foot the bill again. So I need help um, making it to Topeka. And that trip, after I did all the calculations, was a thousand dollars. So if anybody would like to help me get to surgery all the way in Topeka, I would greatly appreciate it. I will now. I will leave my cash app. It's cash app, right? A cash app in my PayPal, in the description bar, um, in my email, just in case anybody wants to email me, and ask any questions. But um, yeah, that's how the journey of my me getting to my pre-op went. I stopped um, recording stuff about it because I kept getting phone calls and emails saying it wasn't a go and that they wasn't going to accept me because insurance wasn't going to pay for it and I didn't have a $39,000 just sitting in my bank account to have it done so it's a go we're on our way and guys wish me luck send lots and lots of prayers i appreciate each and every one of you and until next time because i'm gonna facetime y'all back so please pick up bye guys